can teach you. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Step one, pick up the ball. But you realize you can't have the ball because you threw it over there. So you don't pick it up, but you go in time to pick it up. But you realize that you didn't pick it up again. So you go back in time again, but you don't have it. So you go and pick it up, but then you go back in time. But I've said back in time three times. So you don't go back in time. So you go to reach it up with your ball. But then you decide that it would be quicker if you just go back in time and do it that way. So you go back in time, even though I've said it four times and you haven't done it. So three, two, one, go back in time. Whee! And you go back in time, and you run to the ball. You get the ball, but you forgot to pick it up. You started with the ball instead of having it picked up, so you put it on the ground. Then you go, go back in time. Whee! Then you realize that you have to pick up the ball. You're about to shoot when you realize you don't have a swaggy jacket, so it won't look cool. So you put the ball back down and go back in time. Burn it, turn it, turn. So then you get the swaggy jacket, but you realize that the space-time quantum theorem isn't enough time to get a jacket on. So you lose the jacket, but you decide to go back in time because you just wasted 10 seconds of your life, so you go back. Whee! This time without the jacket. So you pick up the ball, and you're about to shoot when you realize you don't have sacks, even though you do have sacks. I just messed up. So you go back in time because I just wasted 15 seconds of your life. Whee! So you decide to pick up the ball. And you shoot. And that's how you shoot a ball.